Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, great to have you with us on the program, website thisweekinamerica.us. For the past 22 years, our guest on today's program, Dr. Christina Guarneri, has devoted herself to working on political campaigns throughout New Jersey. She's been providing leadership seminars on ethics and leadership in public policy. Her newest seminar, Ethical Leadership in the 21st Century, the Issues in Public Policy, has been held throughout the tri-state area. As an educator and clinical counselor, Dr. Guarneri holds a doctorate in leadership management and policy with a concentration in public policy from Seton Hall University, along with a professional certification in public performance measurement and government relations from Rutgers. Currently, she writes a column and, uh, on politics as well as government. She's the author of a number of books, including See No Evil, The Inceptor's Covenant, Night of the Broken Glass, and Burning Sky. Her new book is called No Strings Attached, a nonfiction book on the life and times of one man's quest into politics. And we welcome her back in the program, Dr. Christina Guarneri. Doctor, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Rick. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. It is always a pleasure to talk politics and where we are as a country. And I want to start with this. I'm looking at your website, and the website is very simple, ChristinaWrites.net. And Christina is C-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, ChristinaWrites.net. The homepage on that says, do you believe in the magic of politics? And I got to thinking about that, and I used to. And then I'm not sure that I'm too quick to jump into that anymore. You get a little more uh, uh, maybe cynical over the years. How do you feel about politics today? Because you've been studying politics basically all your adult life. I, I believe the idea of politics has changed so much over even the last 10 years. And part of that comes from... Uh, looking at what we see in leadership right now in government. That's part of the issue. The other part of the issue is looking at the type of candidate that is uh, currently in office. So these are things we really uh, have to pay attention to, especially when we are voting not only in the next election, but every election thereafter. The book that you've written, the newest book, is called No Strings Attached, Breaking Away from the Political Machine, the Leadership of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. The book is on him, and you were so impressed with him. And We talked a little bit about uh, about him the last time we were on the program. First of all, let's start with a little bit of background. This guy really is an, was an unlikely candidate, and he's gone through his lumps winning and losing throughout the po- political process. Give us a little background on, uh, on who he is, and then we'll talk about why he's really making changes in Jersey City. Mayor Phillips started out with no idea of, or actually no plan in working in politics. He had spent about 12, 13 years working in finance as an equities trade uh, person, working his way up to a vice president of some of the more major financial companies in New York City. He had a lucrative career for himself. And um, as he worked in finance for Goldman Sachs, uh, during September 11, 2001, uh, New York City was um, uh, dealt with the uh, World Trade Center bombing. Yes. And um, Stephen Fulop was there at the time that the bombing had occurred. And it was uh, his decision, once experiencing the World Trade Center bombing, to become a Marine. And he enlisted in the reserves of the Marines at a very young age of about 24 years old. Um, He felt that commitment. He made that commitment all along in his heart that that was the right thing to do for the people. And um, he uh, enlisted, went through boot camp. And six months after boot camp or so, he was uh, deployed to Iraq. And uh, I don't think he ever expected he would be deployed. Um, He spent six months in the 6th Battalion in Iraq, uh, working on water purification. Uh, Came back the summer of six months later and um, fell into politics. He had met at that time the Jersey City mayor, who was Glenn Cunningham. Uh, Mayor Cunningham was the, I believe, first black mayor Jersey City had ever had. And anybody who looks up the history of Jersey City knows that they're what we call the political machine. They uh, have been well known for corruption throughout Jersey City. 
Um, it took Steve about seven years as a city council member to decide that uh, this was the time uh, he would run for mayor of Jersey City. It's interesting. You talk about the uh, the heavy political machine. In the book, No Strings Attached, our guest on the program, Dr. Christina Corneri. The book is available uh, at her website, which is ChristinaWrites.net, available Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all across town. Just briefly, you mentioned the book of uh, former mayor Frank Haig. And this sort of exemplifies the, uh, I don't want to say the stereotype, because actually there was some truth to it. Uh, the corruption that went on there, when he had a desk where there was a drawer facing whoever was sitting talking to the to the mayor, so they could just sort of open that and, and drop their, their bribe money in there, correct? That's correct. And that <laughs> drawer still exists. It's not used, but it still is somewhere in storage in City Hall. So, yeah, and it was a real, very real thing. So what happens when you when Steve Phillips comes along and he decides he's going to break away from the political machine? This is something that's part of politics, has been in Jersey City and a lot of other cities around the country. What a resistance that he did he come across in, in the beginning. It was councilman decides he's going to run for mayor. Here's somebody who, wow, he's talking about ethics. He's talking about accountability. He's talking about transparency. He's not talking about what we can, what the city can actually do for him. How was he received when he was running for mayor? Uh, I'll tell you, he was a fresh of breath. Uh, he was a breath of fresh air for Jersey City. I think the people had just about enough of the political corruption that had overtaken much of Jersey City and basically plagued them. So um, I think seeing someone like Stephen Fulop come out, he's you know a businessman. He's got a finance background. He's intelligent. He's got you know double master's degrees, and and here he is thinking to himself, you know. I can do more for Jersey City, but more importantly, I can do a lot more for the city and its people. And I think that was real impressive for those who were voting in Jersey City. He wasn't just someone who said, I'm going to do something. He actually did it. And I think that was very impressive for the people. He was basically, uh, and still is today, a people's politician. You know, it's interesting because his philosophy is really, I can do things and things can get done a lot easier and a lot quicker on a local level, rather than going even state or federal, this is where it all begins. And he's been very successful at that, hasn't he? It's basically, and, and you talk in the book, No Strings Attached, he won the election by going out and meeting the people where the people are at. A, a, a similarity to Lincoln that you also talk about in the book. But he he's really been able to deliver, and he really believes my job is to make Jersey City one of the great mid-sized cities in the country. He, and he continues to do that. Uh, he has brought in a number of um, development opportunities. He has provided tax abatements for businesses coming into Jersey City just over from New York. Um, he has also re, uh, refurbished some of the historic landmarks in Jersey City, such as Lowe's Theater. He was one of the first cities to enact paid sick time for part-time employees, uh, which was really unheard of. And throughout New Jersey, we are seeing that as becoming the trend. And, and it's funny to realize that it came from uh, Mayor Stephen Fulop from Jersey City. So I think it's really interesting. He, he's really put a lot of emphasis on uh, revitalizing Jersey City, and, and people recognize that from parks to the education system to decreasing taxes. So he continues on that quest to really helping uh, every socioeconomic cl uh, uh, class within Jersey City. And he, he's come up with innovative ideas to attack problems. Mayors all across the country, in fact, uh, Mayor Bloomberg had a number signed a petition, uh, going to gun manufacturers, going to legislators, and trying to come up with some reasonable way to limit the number of guns so we don't see situations like Sandy Hook again. And Mayor Fulop came up with the bid specifications for new weapons. It's sort of an innovative way to, like, rein things in a little bit and get some control of the situation. Uh, talk about that because it seems to be very effective. He actually had brought in a, um, an initiative, uh, a gun buyback. And he's also looking at and has an, an improved uh, the way that guns are being brought into his city. Uh, he has also put in some ordinances, from what I understand, and even how policing are buying their guns. So uh, this, is, this has been a great initiative for the city of Jersey City. 
I mentioned the, the similarities, and by the way, the book is called No Strings Attached, Breaking Away from the Political Machine, the leadership of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop with us on the program, back with us on the program, Dr. Christina Guarneri. Her website is christinawrites.net. The book's available all across the country. And, of course, you can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and only kind to get information on the book. I mentioned, and you've got a chapter in the book where you're talking about Abraham Lincoln, the impact that our 16th president still has on the country. And you talk about Lincoln leadership. What exactly is that? Uh, I believe that there was a level of leadership that Lincoln had presented to the people within the United States that we are also seeing uh, within Mayor Fulop. Uh, you know, very few politicians have been able to be um, able to represent uh, President Lincoln the way that I am seeing within this one particular uh, mayor. Um, he has basically um, shown the traits and characteristics that are essential to being a Lincoln in politics today. And uh, he shows himself as, as very much uh, an honest person, um, but is an average everyday person. He has opened his doors to people, uh, even people that don't even live in Jersey City, and uh, has welcomed them, which is uh, something that Abraham Lincoln did when he was president. He had opened his doors to the average everyday citizen and listened to their concerns and uh, made policies and implemented uh, ways to really help people feel uh, more thriving within their communities. And another similarity, and you talk about it in the book, No Strings Attached, is the fact that he has reached out to opponents as well. He feels, I'm the mayor of everybody, whether they're an opponent, whoever they voted for, I am mayor of everybody in the city. Again, that's sort of a unique approach where you really want to hear what's on their mind and just maybe they've got an idea that we can take and, and run with. Well, it's true, and I feel that that kind of thinking has to start at the local level. Um, we, we pay a lot of attention to the national government system that we have currently, but in order for change to really happen in government, we need to start paying attention to what's happening at the local level. Local government is so important in order for change to happen. It's like uh, like businesses, things have to change at the bottom and work its way up in order to really find effective change. Mentioned before that he really feels comfortable at this level, but there's some talk that he may possibly run for governor. Governor Christie cannot run, uh, as I understand, for uh, for another term. How realistic <laughs> is that? Is that something that you see him doing and, and maybe doing now or doing at a future time? I think that... Um there have been many, many people, especially in the state of New Jersey, um, including in the Democrat Party, that have, um, when I've spoken to different and various politicians, um, I keep hearing, uh, he's going to run. And I said, well, you know, Mayor Fulop hasn't said he's going to run. So I don't feel, I would, I would not want to put any words in his mouth and would expect that no one else would either. But unfortunately, um, it is the rumor, but there has been no formal announcement by Mayor Fulop that this is really going to happen. I know he's very happy with being mayor of Jersey City and would be happy just being mayor of Jersey City should it have come to that. Um, but there is talk that he would run for uh, governor. And uh, if he ran and if he should decide, uh, he would be a, a, a welcome change to uh, New Jersey. We have had our fair share of issues of corruption um, for those who have looked at the George Washington Bridge. We are per currently going through a court case that involved a number of, of staff that had been on uh, Governor Christie's uh, payroll uh, who are no longer there. And we have an upcoming trial coming up in July. So we've been through enough um, uh, turmoil, so to speak, at the state level. So it would be nice to see someone like um, Stephen Fulop run for a governor, but there are no guarantees. The book is called No Strings Attached, Breaking Away from the Political Machine, the Leadership of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. Our guest on the program, Dr. Christina Guarneri. Uh, her website, ChristinaWrites.net. Christina is C-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, and you can go to our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us, and, uh, and, and link up to Christina's website. A couple minutes left in the program, and we've thrown around terms here, ethics, accountability, uh, transparency. 
Let's talk about ethics. Give me sort of a, a broad definition of of ethics and why you feel that uh, the current mayor, Fulop, is living up to that to, to that definition. You've studied this for over 22 years. Uh, talk about a, a broad definition, ethics. What exactly are you looking for? To give a, a broad and uh, general definition of what ethics would mean, especially in the government political sector, uh, it is a way of living and a way of uh, action, morality, and um, I believe that uh, what Mayor Fulop has done has been to live up to campaign pledges. That's actually quite rare that we are seeing in politicians today. But uh, he's not just making promises to make promises, but he's fulfilling on them. And that's uh, remarkable. I believe part of that has to do with his faith system, being someone uh, raised um, in the understanding of of being moral and um, keeping to your word and doing good for other people. Um, he has done a great amount of work uh, for charities, and uh, I think that shows through. The book is called No Strings Attached, Breaking Away from the Political Machine, the Leadership of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. Dr. Christina Guarneri, our guest on the program. The book's available all across the country. Information at her website, which is ChristinaWrites.net. I'm going to stretch this out here a minute or so and talk a little bit about uh, transparency. Again, that's something, a, a term that everybody throws out there. And you point out in the book, with social media, there's no reason for a lack of transparency anymore. Sort of the, the tools are there for you to be able to reach out and, and to be totally transparent. Absolutely. That is so true. And I think that as the years go on, uh, more and more people are going to have to become much more transparent and uh, be open to the people and allow them to know uh, what what politicians are doing uh, within office. And I think that's that's a great thing. We'll hopefully be able to in, instill more trust in how our government system works. As you look at the national scene, and of course the race in the presidential primaries on the on the Republican side, but how difficult is it for a, a politician to take a stand and follow through with that? Because it seems like they're they're talking to whoever they think they're, the base voter is going to be, and you wonder exactly what these people think. And it may be different in in Iowa that it's going to be later when they enter a, a state maybe that's more centrally positioned. In the beginning, I, I have watched a number of politicians who have meant well in doing the right thing. Unfortunately, there is a lot of pressure to be a politician in the United States, especially today. Um, you know, there's political parties, there is expectations. Uh, at any moment, truly any person who is a public servant who is working from the local level all the way on up to state, county, uh, federal level, uh, na national level, that it's very difficult. You have a lot of people to answer to. And um, because of that, that pressure is constant on a person who is working as a politician. The book is excellent. It's No Strings Attached, Breaking Away from the Political Machine, the Leadership of Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. The author is Dr. Christina Guarneri. Her, her website is christinawrites.net. And I... I Mentioned at the beginning, all the books that you've written, that's just the tip of the iceberg. What you have more you're working on, so we'll have you back. What's the next book coming out? Do you know? Uh, my next book, I have two books coming out July 21st of this year. Um, that would be My Burning Sky and The Night of Broken Glass. And I just received a publishing contract for life for my books. Um, well, congratulations. Which, that's good news. Yeah. Thank you. And so my next book will be coming out, I believe, in October, and I'll be starting to write my next book in the summer of this year. Well, we are looking forward to having you back to talk about all of the new books coming out. Information you can keep track of at Christina's website, ChristinaWrites.net. And again, we'll have her back in the program. The newest book, it's excellent. It's talking about the Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. A lot of comparisons to uh, to Abraham Lincoln. It's an excellent book. It's called No Strings Attached. And, of course, information available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Christina, thank you very much for being on the program. Uh, back to the computer so you can continue writing, and we'll have you back to talk <laughs> to talk about the fruits of your labor here in a, in a couple months. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. It was a pleasure being here. You're listening to This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. <laughs> 